All right, boys and girls, welcome to art class with Mr. Mazer. This week, we are going to be creating a crown for ourselves, just like the artist we just learned about, Jean-Michel Basquiat. So hopefully you were able to watch that video of the author reading Radiant Child about Mr. Basquiat's early life. Now, one thing that he does a lot in his artworks is he puts crowns in them a lot of times. And I have some examples on my computer that you can see here. I have a crown on a dinosaur, it's a random crown there. And this crown, which he has put on a jazz musician. So Jean-Michel Basquiat would put crowns on people to show that he honors and respects them very much, kind of like a king or queen, it's royalty. So we're gonna make some cute little crowns for ourselves and maybe you could even wear it. So um, if you're at school, you're gonna get a piece of board like this and I'm gonna give you a plate of paint. We're gonna have gold in our primary colors. Um, if you're working at home, you also need a little bit of string. If you wanna use that, um, scissors, crayons, and here we go. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this rectangle into a crown by drawing a zigzag line. So I'm gonna start at the corner and I'm gonna make a zigzag. Goes like this. I want it to be a nice and big zigzag because if I do it super small like this, then it's gonna be very, very hard for me to cut. So nice big zigzag corner to corner, and I'm going to cut it out. Cut these triangles away. Now the next thing I'm going to do to my crown is I'm going to paint it. So we're gonna paint kind of in the style of Jean-Michel Basquiat. So we're gonna be very energetic, spontaneous. This can be kind of messy. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. So you could use these colors if you want to mix them to create other colors. If you know what happens when you mix like a little red with some blue, then you get a nice little Violet. And we're going to paint this in. So I'm going to do just some violet over here. Let me wipe that off my brush. I'm going to use a little yellow. I'm going to do some yellow over here. Now that dark purple on my paintbrush has made that yellow nice and dark, and that's okay. Now maybe I'll do my red, red with a little yellow. Let's see what happens when we mix those two together. Start to get a nice orange color. I'm gonna paint that in. And I'm just gonna glob some paint on here and rub it around. So the messier this is, the better. We wanna have a fun, funky painted crown. It's not gonna look like anything anybody has ever seen before. So I'm gonna paint my whole crown just like this. Spread my paint. And there we go, now I'm finished. Now, the final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe away any of that extra paint off my brush. And I am going to use the gold. We're gonna make this, since it is a crown, we want it to be kind of like we're royalty. So I'm gonna add this gold all the way around the edge of my crown. Now, some places the paint might still be a little wet, may not see it totally, and that's fine. Just wanna give it a nice little gold accent, make it a little more regal and royal make us a little, seem a little more fancy. And if you glop a whole bunch on your brush and put it on there, then it should show up a little easier. 
And I want to make sure I use as much of this gold as I can. There we go. Now, the final step is if you want to use some crayons to make some slashes and scribbles, we can go in and do that. So I'm going to take a nice color here, make some lines. I may have to wait a little bit for this to be a little more dry so these will show up, but I can do you know, some nice, again, we want to keep our lines nice and energetic and fluid. So I'm just doing some slashes of color on here. Maybe we'll do a little green over here as well. Okay. And our final step, which Mr. Mazer will do this for you if you're in school, but we're going to punch some holes into our crowns and tie a string, which I'm going to do this later when this is dry, but I'm going to punch two holes into your crown and tie some string through it so that one day, once it's dry, you can wear that crown and remember that you learned about the wonderful artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. So that is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you wear these awesome, fun, funky crowns. We'll see you next time.